here I have uh, um, well, I don't know when I'm going to be putting this video on, but it could be a while from now. I'm probably going to put it with a catch of this thing, but it's um, a shout out to NL, NL Ghost Wolf. Um, he had a video on this, and you take, I don't know how good you can see that, take a trap, then take the side of it, and set it up against the can, and then put peanut butter in the back of the can. So here's a, another one. The trap, um, jaw is set up against the top of the opening, so the animal will go. He said it's good for squirrel and weasel. Animal will go in there and put his head right on the, or his, he'll catch him by the head usually. So I got a couple of them out, but I don't think there are any uh, chipmunks around here right now. They might be hibernating if they do. <clears throat> but here, I did another thing. I just made the, I'll probably make another video on this someday. Um, the old fashioned homemade mouse trap and I was gonna do it for chipmunks and I just threw a trap at the bottom so when he fell in there he could get trapped there's ice at the bottom too but I got a mouse and really got him he set off the trap there's that guy totally crushed just destroyed um, on that. So it worked, but I guess mouse is good too. We don't want them around. But this trap is, um, I don't know what kind it is or what size it is, but it's probably the power of a one and a half. So, because this is a different style, I only have one of these traps. But one and a half um, coil spring. It's probably the same power, or maybe a little less, but it got that mouse pretty good. So, well, I'll have to toss him, but. So, check out NL Ghost Wolf. He got a good channel, so. Alright, guys. Um, we're in the rabbit tree. And we're having a little bit of chipmunk problem. And I set this trap. Um, it's a, I think, a number one long spring. Pretty sure. And I accidentally just stepped on this because I didn't even think to check it. I don't know what the hell's going on, but. Um, put peanut butter in the back of this or on, on it and put the jaw of the trap up against the uh, here I have another set over here you can kind of see that see how the jaw they were digging in here and maybe scaring the rabbits I don't know but um wrecking some stuff in here probably eating food and, but you can see that there's peanut butter in there, and they're going to want to go in there. That's right on the edge, that pan. Then the other, the jaw over here is up against here. So to go in there, they just go in straight through there. So maybe step on that pan to get the peanut butter. So that's what happened over here. The same thing. And I got this pest. So, uh, the way I learned how to do this was from NL, NL Ghost Wolf. Um, he, has a, he had a video on it. He said it's good for weasel and squirrels and stuff. So I tried it on a chipmunk and it, it worked really good. So that's. I'll probably reset this because there's probably gonna may, might be another one, 
and spring's coming. We don't want a million of them in here. So, and they might be getting in, eating the rabbit food. Just a waste for us, so. Uh, go check out N NL Ghost Wolf. Um, because thanks to him, we got this guy.